Hey, welcome back to Square Body Stuff. I'm your host, Chad. Uh, we're actually not going to be working on Square Body today. We're going to be working on my 2012 Duramax. Uh, going to be a simple little project. We're going to change out headlights. And I'm just going to show you the way I do it. There's actually a couple different ways I found to do it. And I'm going to show you the way I do it. And probably explain the other ways to do it. Now there's a couple different ways that I've found to uh, change out these headlight bulbs on these newer trucks or this body style truck. Uh, one way is to, of course, my diesel's got a battery up here. I'm not sure if the half tons or three quarter tons with a single battery has got a battery here. I've got a battery here and a battery up there in that corner, but I've got a battery here and my air box over here. Now all we're doing this time is changing out the driver's side headlight. The low beam is burnt out, so I'm going to replace that bulb. Um, but the way I do it, you can access both sides fairly easily. Um, the other way of doing it, which is the way I used to do it, is to pull out the battery. Which, it's not too bad. You have to pull this brace out, disconnect everything on your battery, then pull your battery out. Not a big deal. Same thing over here on this side. you got to pull your air box out. you got to disconnect the... Your air tube and all that stuff pull the air box out uh, but the way I do it is I take this upper cover off which has just got these and I don't really like them but they're just a plastic push clips and a couple there's a couple bolts three or four bolts or four or five bolts I guess there is and then some clips behind the grill and the grill pops out. So, and then once you get the grill out, you have access to your headlights because these headlights, if anybody has ever messed with them, and if you haven't, uh, they're a pain in the butt because uh, there's a, a bolt underneath the bumper up under there that's a really pain to get to. You can't really get the headlight out easily, the, the headlight assembly out. So it's best to either take the battery, the air box, or the grill out. And I'm going to show you how to take the grill out because that's the way I do it. All right, first thing we're going to do is take these dirty little clips out here, which they're just plastic clips. They're kind of handy whenever you're putting stuff together because they just push in. But all you got to do is pry up, kind of work it on both sides with your favorite pry bar or a screwdriver until it gets like you don't have to pull this all the way out because once you pull it out that far you can feel it kind of stop it'll pull the rest away out you may have to kind of wiggle it or pry up a little bit but once you're going back together you push it in like this push that down it spreads this out and locks it in that's how these work if you didn't already know now once you got all your plastic doohickeys out this just lifts off Set it aside. You got one, two, three, four. Uh, they're ten millimeter headed uh, bolts or screws, whatever you want to call them. We'll take those out. Then there's just some clips in behind the, the grill. And this here is the uh, the clip that I'm talking about. It's attached to the grill. I'll try to use these pliers to pinch it like so and pull it out. And there is three more, two on the center, and another one on the other side. I'll get them unclipped real quick and get this grill pulled out. Alright, I lied to you. There's two more up top. So there's a total of uh, six clips. There's two more up here. Get those real quick. Alright, now once you got the grill out, you can see we've got plenty of access to our Headlights right here. Uh, this one's got a, a flapper in the way, but you can pull it at back and you can easily get to your headlight on this back side. 
Eh, it's a little bit of a squeeze, but I mean, I got kind of fat, fat little chubby hands. But this is the side we're going to be working on. Uh, just work my hand up in there. Give it a turn. And there's a bracket kind of in the way. Got to fish it out through there, but once you get it loose. All right, now that you got your headlight out, uh, of course, if you'll notice, these are, these are the LED bulbs. I get them off of Amazon. They're kind of cheap. Uh, this lasted me mm, about a year and a half, two years. Not bad. Actually, they last longer than the original type halogen bulbs. They plug into your factory plug. Nothing to change around. The only thing I do say is uh, if you do get these and you plug them in and they don't work at all, unplug it and turn your plug around because they'll only work one way. I, I kind of fought with it at the first time I put them in. So I was pretty upset because they didn't work. Then I figured out if you unplug it, turn in the other way, they'll work. So once you get your headlight in and all that's good, Assembly is just reversal of removal. And that's about all it takes to get your headlights working on these trucks. If you like to watch some more of my videos, check some of these out. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click this button over here. Until next time, you keep them square bodies rolling, and we'll catch you later.